Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Tiny Rogues, the massively updated action roguelike. We are going to be going in here today with the soldier, who I don't think I've ever played before anyways, but we're also trying to unlock the Dragoon class by going to hell. That is the plan. So you can intimidate on hit with two-handed melee weapons. I'm going to have to go back in. Wait, I'm supposed to go to hell? Burning hells with the soldier starts with good alignment. Interesting. Okay, so it's going to be slightly harder. Very, very interesting. We'll have to go in to see what Intimidate does. Again, it doesn't tell you from here. We have two mana, normal stuff, four strength, two dex, three HP. All right. In we are going to go to see what this sucker's all about. We've got, okay, just a heart upgrade. Okay, so the three hearts, one of it's coming from there. 20% increased damage with two-handed weapons. Sure. And a slow pole axe that has on a tally of five primary attacks as a special secondary attack that does thrusting damage and inflicts armor break. Okay. So intimidate makes them take just take makes them take more damage. Great. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go ahead and get a flask refill at the start. I feel like it's usually just a, a good place to start, right? Ooh. Ooh. This damage compared to some of the other stinkers uh, starting damage is pretty good. I'm going to avoid intelligence altogether, just like I do in my day-to-day. -day. I feel like it's probably going to be a good call to just never get any of those perks for the time being. You know, we've done some, uh, some pretty crit-focused builds as well. We've obviously done the mana-focused stuff as well, too. So let's just go knee-deep in the halberd. On combat, start and taking damage, war cry, taunt all in the room. On a tally of eight melee attacks, kick the nearest enemy. Huh. Doing striking body damage, trigger. I mean, on tally of blank attacks, we do have a little bit of that already. So we could go for like a tally markdown build, which I think needs some decks. But as far as attack speed, synergizing with it goes, we're... We're pretty slow with two-handed weapons. Full stacks of Battle Rush, combat start effects, including this one, every 10 seconds. Got nothing with that. I don't know. I'm leaning towards either Tempest Kick or trying a... Let's try a reroll. Whew. Hits with primary attacks gives you a stack of Rage, increasing your attack speed. I mean, sure, I could definitely do that. Uh, points of strength also grants you critical hit multiplier. I did say I was not going to be going for as much crit today, so let's say no. Wooden chest, why not? Oof. It's a very slow sweep on this sucker as well. Stamina surge. Eh, you know, probably end up keeping that. And we still have these, uh, the Santa hats. How long are these Santa hats on, man? I don't have any bombs for that. Whoop, whoop. But yeah, all right. Two-handers, arcade, I could... Oh, boy, this is quite the choice here, huh? It's going to be cursed no matter what. Oh, man. They really hit me with it, didn't they? I don't really want to take damage right now. So I'll say sure, we'll grab that key. So yeah, the fact that we swap our um, attack styles too is also really, really interesting. Boots and gloves got no, I mean, no pull towards either right yet. I feel like boots in this game are on average like a little bit more, have a little bit more weird utility effects. They obviously have a lot of pull towards like movements and things too. Gotta be careful. We can't dash. We can't dash this much with our four-second delay on our dashes. Gotta slow that. Slow that roll a little bit. No real need to kill those guys. Oh please. I'll go up here for you. But yeah, a little bit of attack speed could be good to help us keep those stacks up a little bit more reliably. Oop, oop. Add a bunch of cold damage to melee attacks. I mean, maybe. 
sure. Sure, why not? I don't know, we can maybe, maybe we'll do a cold damage build. A two-handed melee cold damage build could be a thing. Oh. I mean, right now, that amount of damage is going to be very, very helpful. This is a two-hander. I mean, that's a two-hander as well. Does it have to be, yeah, a two-handed melee weapon? Very short range. On kill, gain swiftness. I mean, I'll grab it. It's the most relevant thing here, but... It is... It's a pretty short range. It's, it's not that bad, though. Not that bad. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily keep this sucker. On dash, shoot an apparition of yourself, dealing an attack to the nearest enemy. Huh. How much is the bomb? Four bucks. This is a heart. I, I don't care too much about the heart, but I also don't care that much about this. Thrusting body damage. I mean, maybe. Maybe we could do like a body damage build. Right now I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, this thing is actually... It's kind of chunkin'. It's kind of chunkin'. Dice out the wazoo. Wow! I'll take a charm. I have a feeling you're gonna probably melt a bit here. Yep. No point in even going for the ads on the... Okay. On this, unless you are invincible. <laughs> what the hell, man? Extra damage versus something. No, increase magic damage. Heart and suppression. Green hoodie. I could I could do that. I lose 20% increased damage, though. It feels hard to say no. But... I think I might re-roll. If it was the red hoodie, I'd do it. For a couple reasons. Oh! I have a feeling we're taking this in no matter what, but... Increased companion damage is not bad. Attacks with guns and cannons. Uh, yeah, we're taking this. Extra luck up is just really good. Increased, you know, increased luck just in general, like actually for drops and stuff like that. After rooms increased, have a chance to rank up. We also do get extra crit from it, which, sure, why not? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does swiftness give attack speed too? No. It's a backup armory. I'm actually, like, not too interested in either of these. Yeah, we're gonna keep on running. Ooh, on the strength. We're on floor, what, three? Okay. Almost back to normal on our dashes. We can feel free to use them a little bit more. Attack speed is always the base attack speed, but for percentage modifiers to attack speed, also apply to... Okay. Maybe. Resolute technique. Wait, two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed and allow for the wearing of an offhand. Too fun. Too fun to not. Irrelevant right now. Very irrelevant right now. But I know for a fact I want to use two-handers. I wonder if there were... Ooh. I wonder if there will ever be a character... You'd have to... There'd have to be some absolute... Uh, massive downsides to go with it, but... I'm really hoping that there's an underground here. There's not. 
Um, what was I going to say? Let me do this. Usually I like doing the first one on when you have are running the curse where you have one HP and no flasks. What if there's ever going to be a character where you can hold two weapons at once? It would have to be a disgusting penalty to uh, to go with it. But it'd be fun if there'd be a character that can hold, wield two two-handed weapons at the same time. It'd have to be truly crazy, the downsides. Uh, ooh, that's a, um, okay. That's a one-hander, apparently. 26 gold for that. I would like to try and figure out how to get that going for us. Step one, we can sell this. That's whatever. We're getting also a little bit evil. How much does this sell for? 13. It's 26. We have to sell a second thing. Do you buy this? No. All right, we're going to have to we have to sell one of our things. I'll sell my hat. I'm really hoping this thing is freaking good. Very slow. Understandable. Uh Increase damage to fiends, range damage, three decks. You do souls? Nope. Five gold for two keys is just a good trade. Increase damage dealt to chilled enemies. Wait. Ah, oh, rip. I could be really crazy and sell this. I should have got the Ice Climbers, though. I still might. If I'm really feeling bold, I'll sell my armor as well. Which I kind of am. I'm feeling bold. Yes, I know. 20% increased damage seems like it's a no-brainer. Obviously, you go for that. But here is the thing. There's a little bit... I don't know. We can, we can get something that good. I'm playing long-term. I'm playing long term, baby. I want to make the game think I want this stuff, because I do. I want it to give me, uh, you know, cold damage stuff. I mean, look at my damage. Do I do I look like I care about 20% damage right now? We'll get something better. I know over the course of the run, we would find something we'd replace that with anyways. So I don't want to be too bent out of shape about it, especially when we are destroying. <laughs> destroying right now. What the hell is this? Is this... Blech. Each point of strength also grants... Okay. Hold on. 1% increased two-handed weapon damage. We could get more than 20 strength. Yeah, I think this was, already the, this was already the right call. Oh, that is appealing too, but... Let's get the bear pelt cape. And try and get the bear pelt hat. We're looking for an evil shop. Thank you. Increase damage to armor. I'll tell you what, six. I'll do it for the six soul cost. It's pretty cheap. Damage dealt to armor. I'm leaning evil. Let's literally just buy this so that we are at minus three evil. Going from plus one good to minus four evil is it's a difficult task. So I just, I'm willing to, to spend some of that stuff right now. Wow! Wow! Set item, I'm really looking for, yeah, either the frost set item. We have two. Malt. Uh, oh, there's a lever. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff? Whoa. 
Oh, Trash Beam Sword. This weapon does... It's a 100% lethal hit against bosses. It could be worth buying... It could be worth buying just to have for bosses, I guess? I don't know if I care about any of that. This could even be pawnable, if I'm honest. I'm really liking this run already. <laughs> I'm, like, really liking it already. I think we made a couple good decisions and got a couple really lucky things. And importantly, the stuff is feeling like... It's feeling pretty synergistic. Ooh, this is... That'd be a... It'd be a bold choice. It's one strength. As much as I want it, it's a mistake. Can get a couple upgrades on this. Again, I, I've got to think long term. Four to five bombs means that I can, if I go to the many bombs room, it's like gaining a room in a way because I won't have to go to a second bomb room. We'll get another blacksmith later. We can only get two upgrades on this weapon right now. We could go later. Maybe we'll find whetstones. I'm just trying to, since we're extremely strong right now, I'm trying to make some choices that will benefit me better long term. So that I stay this strong. You know what I'm saying? Because we're obviously very strong right now. Um, Guaranteed Epic could be good, but let's just get a helmet because we, we just don't have one. So, Man, I hate fighting this boss. He's usually... I think he's one of the tougher ones. I mean, not today though, obviously. Today he's um, nothing. I think that it's not necessarily that he is that tough. It's that um, the extra summons... Oh, man. Mess him up. And he's not melee friendly. In that phase. Doesn't matter today. Irrelevant today. We rolls. We have two obsidian? Dang. I don't care about swiftness. Hmm. It's fine. Yeah, okay. What was the other option? Was it an offhand or was it... What was it? No, it was the guarantee. It was a spend a key for an epic. I was banking on the fact that, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll just get an epic. But yeah, maybe we'll never get the set bonus for this stinker. We'll see. Maybe we'll get it right now. Two beetle companions both give you 10% increased melee damage. You know, it's probably better right now. 20% increased damage versus five strength. It doesn't have the set bonus yet, the each point of strength giving you additional. Doesn't doesn't do anything yet. Ooh, ooh, I just have two oh, this is tough. There's two sets that I want to complete, so. They both. Oh, they're both helmets, though. I'll tell you what, I'll I'll finish whatever set I get first. You know, I'll be fine with it. And then whatever the other one is, I'll just say, alright, I guess I'm not going for that. Hits with repeated attacks from swords trigger your on-kill effects. It's fun. I'm going to have negative intelligence. Can you do that? You can have negative intelligence. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, swipe the whole room there. Oh, God, I'm loving this weapon. My crit chance. Why is my crit chance so high? Oh. Interesting. That's, it's an illegal weapon. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Whoa. Twenty percent melee crit chance. Okay, maybe I'll get some intelligence. Wow. Oh. If it was a guaranteed set thing that you don't that you, you know, for when you have, I'd be like, yes, please. There should be an NPC... Whoa. There should be an NPC that helps with that. It's like, it costs a lot, but it finishes off a set that you have. Or at least an event. Maybe there is. Oh, there's the ice, uh, there's the ice one. That could be good, but... 10% increased cold damage, we've flicked frostbite. I mean, I said I'd, I said I'd finish off whichever one, but now I'm kind of sad, because I do think that... It feels like the bear one is probably better. I was hoping for something a little bit cooler than 10% increased cold damage. I don't think we do that much, you know? Hmm. What's this? Wait, what? Wait, what? Man, do I say, do I say no and hope I get the? Uh, ah, this is this hurts. That hurts. I was hoping for something better than ten percent cold damage. I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe it was like a, all of your you know blank damage becomes you know whatever. I think I'm gonna hold on to my soul. Is there a cap? There's no cap. No cap. <laughs> I guess I could just hold on to all the souls then, huh? Seems silly. So is... The chill thing, it doesn't convert all of my melee... It doesn't convert all of my damage, does it? Does it? Does it convert all of the damage from the weapon into technically... Cold damage? Because it says it adds blank amount of cold damage. Let's get some gold so that next time we find uh, an anvil, we blow this game even more wide open than we already have. Or maybe a shop. Wait, what? Minus... Minus three right now? I might want to save a little bit. Nice. This is so ideal, because then you can just sell something to get evil. It's beautiful. Oh, no, because I already have... Am I cursed? Yeah, but that's eight souls.
I think that thing is good, but I'm banking. No more evil, is there? No more evil. Thing is, we can already get into hell. And then there, we can buy something at the evil shop there. Love it. That's a plus three. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten the um I should I should have bought some cursor removal. I should have bought some cursor removal. I should buy both. It's gotta be slashing, yep. Uh, stackable ailment stacks up to 10 times, makes it so they take 100%, up to 100% increased physical damage from hits. Woo! It's worth. I could see myself swapping that. I'm, I'm not tied to it. Lol? Stop hiding, he said? Did he just say stop hiding? Please be the evil shop. Please be the evil shop. It's already not bad. What's my crit chance? On the run where I wasn't going crit? 63%. Evil shop. Just buy, just buy something. Okay. I do want to save up my souls. My offhand? Yep. I don't mind some more crit. I wasn't gonna do it, but then the run just was like, eh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Ooh. Is it possible? Is it even possible to find something more impressive right now? I don't really need more stacks of rage. It has a cap. I, for I completely just forgot about this thing. Impress me. Give me, give me the, the helm. It's not even an enchanted room. It just feels like it, though. I, okay. 25% chance for sword attacks to repeat, though? Maybe I should have gotten the fencing stuff. Jeez. Not the set bonus I was expecting. Wanting, you know? I just don't see myself using it. Even, I know, lethal hits. I know. Just don't see it happening. Strength minus intelligence. Uh, it's minus crit, but also I don't know. I think we can deal. I think we can deal. I 
Hey, there we go. There we can fix our intelligence. We're not always proccing a double attack, are we? Oh! 15% critical damage. Oh. You and me, pal. Stay here. Whoa. All right, I'm ready for the boss. Oh, where the boss go? Oh, there it is. Oh, should be fine, but I'm not going to. Holy God, this is an incredible one. Five strength. Each point of strength also grants one percent increased. Two hidden weapon damage. So it's a 29% damage increase right now, and it's only going to be going up. And it's also plus the five. Uh, increased chance for sword attacks. That's, it's very fun. I can't deny how crazy this is, though. You know? This, I hate, ah, this game is, it's sending me into a, a spiral right now. Red Hoodie, if we would have gotten that on floor one, like, imagine. Uh, but this is a 64% attack speed increase. That's nuts. It's got to be better than this, considering the fact that the fencing mask is also very good. That's what's so, uh, that's what's so tough. That's what's so freaking tough. And I, 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 I hate, I hate, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. After all that, the game said, "Are you sure you want to go with these sets? Because actually, I have something better for you. It's right here." With it, with a two hand. Throwing, throwing these attacks out this fast with a two, two hand? Oh, that hit me. Ding dong dummy. That's the first hit of the run, actually. Want to see what we got up there before I maybe go to that? Because it could be locked. I mean, I'm always going to be critting. Like, I'll, I'll always have the Berserk. 20% more attack and movement speed. Don't be locked. Whatever it is in here, don't be locked. Nice. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. Oh, we don't have a key. I'm happy to replace boots at this point. And that's it. It's going to have to be a banger to make me get rid of my helmet at this point. Kind of the same as a soul heart. Because then I can conserve my repair powder. That's why I didn't use it. Charm. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful to see a charm. Charmed, I'm sure. There's a boss there? This might be the strongest I've ever been. This might be the strongest I've ever been. Magic fine. It's a little late. I'm not going to be in mana burnouts. We're having a shrine of... Oh, God, this is trash. Take the magic find. It doesn't take a slot. It's going to have to be pretty good. 
It is. Forty percent increased damage. It's already capped. But yeah, fifteen. Basically, we lose fifteen. Wait, two point five per soul. Wait, oh god, the, that ratio is nuts. Either way, whatever. Nope, conserve. The fact that we have stacking effects that make us like. Ooh. Uh. Make us even stronger is hilarious. You missed a secret room. I missed the part where I care. Go, 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 go. I guess I'll keep that in... Instead of selling something. I don't really feel like the need to uh, replace a trait. Awesome. I don't really care about pawning stuff anymore. This costs health open, but what it means is it's going to do damage to me. I have a repair powder, though. Unless the, unless the blood chest is different than the blood shrine. Ten <laughs> percent increased physical damage. Sure. Oh, there was a freaking blacksmith. I mean, but I, I'm like, ah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's so weird. Okay, we have a resin. We now know that resin stack too, which makes things even more complicated. We're, we're as much evil as we need. Oh, and, and then some. Um, what's my curse at one? Curse person's not here. Could get booze. Just don't care. Offhand or accessory. I, I, you know, I doubt it. It's going to have to be a banger accessory. 20% crit chance is pretty good. Ooh. It's also 20% crit chance and 20% attack speed. That's the thing. No, it's not bad. Uh, Hex Charm? Helps with... Wait, Rupture's an ailment. Heh. Heh. I mean, Intimidate is good. Intimidate's a, a multiplicative. So, 25% increased on that is, I don't know, it's pretty nice. But it's also not that big of a deal. We're almost at a point where I don't care about the lucky hit. 10% increased physical damage is less than it seems. The lucky hit is probably better than the bone charm, believe it or not. Clover charm is definitely better than rabbit charm. Devil charm is really good. 40% increase. There is a world, like if I get enough crit, the lucky hit doesn't matter that much. Hex Charm plus Intimidate. Yeah, take 37% more. So it's... it's Or 18% instead of 15. 
3.75, I know maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but it's an, it's an after the fact. It's after all is said and done. It's a total damage multiplier. Plus, I feel like I have some kind of other buff. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It should be better. It should it should mean more. Technically. The extra crit chance. That's what that's all about. Bloop, 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 bloop. Wow. Wow. Sixty nine per cent more damage. Hubba freaking hubba. Based on my strength, so now, now Bratwurst is even better than it was before, but this is a mimic. It's, I don't know. It's a vengeance room right there. I just can't care. <laughs> Don't have anything there. I'm trying to tunnel vision these guys, because I know they're here, you know? They're like, they're in all the freaking rooms, it feels like. Shrine Blessings, uh, I think I'm pretty good, actually. I could, I could see myself swapping a helmet. All right, phase two. <laughs> Where are you at, phase two? Does this not have a cap? Why does it not have a cap? There's a world where that's better. Um, it it basically does already. And this is an ailment, not a debuff. If anything, it'd be this. Let's just look at it for a sec. What does it bring it to? 71%. I think 25% chance for the tax to repeat is a bit better. Just, I'm not... I'm not stacking intelligence today. I could have. And maybe I should have. Whatever. Going to hell, yeah? If, if I wasn't supposed to, I mean, I now have to, so... So, it don't matter. damage with non-crits. Compared to a set item, I guess... I don't know what I'd want out of a set. Where are you? Oh. You're alive. Highest attribute. I mean, stacking strength today is... is just good. We have lots of benefits from it. Attack speed up. Nothing wrong with that. Critical hit multiplier, sure, add it to the pile. Four hundred and ten percent. Not missing any flasks. 
Die, Broccoli Man. Oh, equip load on you, not capacity. Chop a chop a chop a chop up. I don't know. Like I said, I could I could see myself getting an even stupider helmet. I could see that happening. I could absolutely see myself changing my boots. I don't care about my boots at all. Like, almost anything we get is going to be better. Lol. Oh god, I have to try here. Can't just instant kill the boss on this attack. Because the boss is not here. And now it's really not here. Come on. Perfected? Well. Pull pants. It's better. Because I don't have any chill anymore. I have no chill. So I might as well. It's just not that good. Come on, tigers. Alright, so we have any... I mean... Gotta watch out for a man... Man who doesn't technically die when he dies. There's apparently stack. Resin or booze? Go oh, booze. If I get the two proc... Waste my time. This guy's a concern. This is a tough choice, I guess. Go with it. Let's see. I was lied to. I was lied to! Potion stack, though, maybe? They refresh their cooldown, but... Could get better boots. Could get better boots, and I would be fine with changing a helmet. No benefit to that yet. We would need the full set for it to be benefit. Uh oh You want to wait to kill that guy, but... It's hard to not press the attack button on this run. Multipliers are silly. The word multiplier, you just know. You just know it's good. Assert <laughs> dominance. Whatever. I know it could be good, but also look at that. 69. And we, yeah, we don't want to send sp sp 
spend our souls. Oh. He had to get one little uh, tantrum attack off on me. Like, no, no, no! <laughs> that is... Yeah, that's the strongest run. That's my strongest run of this I've ever had. There's no... There's no question. No doubt in my mind. Oop. Oop. Multiplicatives, kids. Not even once. Or two times that. Or two times that. Or two times that. All right. Did I get the the dragoon? I did. Interesting. I'm glad we were able to get the evil stuff we needed. Alright, but yeah, the only thing we need to do now, we gotta, let's see, only thing before I swap to the other characters for a little bit that we've been unlocking, we are gonna go for, uh, get the Chaos class tomorrow, which is honestly the one I'm most excited about unlocking, because Doppelganger is a glorified random button, which is neat, cool that it exists, Chaos is like Eden in Binding of Isaac, from what I've been told. And it actually picks random perks and equipment and stuff from other characters and smashes them together into a ca new character. Love that. Love that a lot. Uh, very excited to try that son of a gun out. But yeah, so we're going to do that one. And then after that, because we've done a run with the Sorcerer, Gunslinger, Ranger, Warrior, Pyromancer, Knight, Hero. We've done those already this series. So we're going to go ahead and next run, play the doppelganger, unlock the chaos class. And then after that, we're going to go in and we're going to be playing the uh, the cool new classes that we've unlocked. Because I've played none of these except for the Esper, I think. And these are, from what I can tell, they make the old classes look very simple. Uh, so... And by and not necessarily simple in a in a bad way. Just these seem to be playing with some wild mechanics that I'm very excited to play with. Is what I'm getting at. Also, I feel like the art on them is better too. I feel like again, not that these are bad, but just like comparing some of you know comparing some of these, how a lot of them look, you know, pretty similar to these. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited. Alas, alas, there's that. That's going to do it for today. What a dumb run. What a dumb, 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 dumb run. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. It'll be sad to see the series go. You got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.